Hi everyone, today I want to talk about some solar projects that I have done here and they are relatively inexpensive. They are something that most anyone, certainly a home enthusiast, can do. And it really provides a lot of flexibility around the power when you're needing some electricity. Let's take a look. At the chicken coop, I have what I call my mini solar setup. It has three 15 watt panels for a total of 45 watts. And this is part of a Harbor Freight kit that I got about 15 years ago. The panels are a little bit dirty right now. We have a lot of pollen this time of year. But to get 15 years of uh, good service out of these panels has been very impressive to me. Sitting behind the panel, I have this plastic container which has the solar controller and the battery in it. I have upgraded the solar controller and not using the uh, one that came with the Harbor Freight Kit. This Renogy controller has a load configuration on it where it has timers that you can set. And for the chicken coop here, I like the lights to come on at sunset and stay on till sunrise. The battery used in this configuration is a VMAX tank 20 amp hour 12 volt battery. And I'll place a link in the comments for this battery. The small project uses one 100 watt panel which is attached to the carport roof. All of the components are exposed to the elements so I have to protect them somewhat. So here in the carport I have all of the elements inside of this plastic container which is something you can easily pick up at Walmart. It's just storage food plastic. And uh, it has a lid that snaps on and snaps off. By removing the lid, you have access to the solar controller and the wiring going in. With this configuration, it uses a little bus bar to distribute the 12 volt DC power out to some lighting that I have. The solar controller has multi-functions on it and it really presents a lot of information. It can be used for either 12 or 24 volt systems. I'll place a link in the comments below so you can look further into these solar controllers. The small solar setup uses an 80 amp hour AGM battery. I had this battery left over from other projects and I put it back to use. And as long as you take care of these AGMs and don't over discharge them, they will last quite a long time. Some of the outdoor lighting I use are these 12 volt, 24 volt LED lights with uh, motion detectors and day night sensors. They're very nice and inexpensive. And this is another 12 volt light that I'm in the process of installing. I like to stick with the LEDs because they consume only about 5 watts of power. This is the largest solar project I have. It's 800 watts of generating capacity here. That's enough capacity to run a refrigerator, household appliances, power tools, th things of that nature. And here on the roof of the workshop are eight 100 watt Renergy panels. These panels are attached to a metal roof using Renergy angle bases. Inside the workshop are the components of the 800 watt system. This is a little bit more complex, but it's completely doable for the average home enthusiast. This has a solar combiner here, solar controller, a 2000 watt inverter, And here at the bottom is the battery box. The battery box opens from the top 
but I have built this to where the front of the box can be removed for easier access to the batteries. The front of the box just slides up giving uh, access to the batteries. These are the VMAX tank 155 amp 12 volt batteries and they are wired in series providing a nominal 24 volts to my system. Each battery weighs approximately 90 pounds so that is one of the reasons I made the box where I could get the batteries in and out much easier. I think a lot of people don't get involved with solar because they feel like it might be pretty complex or very expensive and you need to bring professionals in to do the job. Well, on bigger uh, projects like doing a whole home solar project, I would recommend bringing in professionals. Uh, it's, it's not anything I would want to tackle. But on what you just saw from uh, my three projects here, most people can do that and it's not that expensive. A lot of the components can be found on Amazon. And like I said, if you just want to really go down to Harbor Freight and get that 45 watt, or I think maybe now they have a 100 watt system that you can get, certainly go ahead and do that and try to apply that to what you need, a little lighting around your property, around the outside of your home. So if you've got questions or if you've got specific videos you'd like to see on solar, please leave those comments down below and I'll try to put a video together or maybe answer the questions as best I can. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate those that subscribe, so please click that subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.